Hey y'all, Chef Kirsten Hawker here, and I'm gonna show you how to do this amazing family night ooey gooey cheesy steak sliders. First, I'm gonna start out with some toasted Hawaiian style buns. Then I'm gonna top it with some provolone cheese, a little bit of a horseradish mayo, check the link in the bio for the recipe, and then we're gonna have right here some crispy fried onions to add that crunchy texture to it. So let's get started, but before we do, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, Chef Kirsten Hawker, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. All right, here we go. Bread is toasted, sliced in half. What I'm gonna do is to make it easier on everyone, I'm gonna pull them apart now, just slightly. That way when we do separate them for snack time, it's not gonna be too much of a big deal then remove the tops over again. Gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna come over with the steak. One of my favorite things about this is because I get to use my melting technique for cheese. It goes directly into your pan and then you're gonna pour it right over. And yes, this is ribeye steak. Marinated with just a little salt, pepper, and Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. However you say it, you know what it is. Don't play me. So you pile on that steak. You pile it on, baby. It's okay, we're gonna have the glue, AKA the cheese, and that sauce to keep it all together. So since it is ribeye, there's a little bit of fat left in the pan. Let me go ahead and dump that, because I don't wanna pour that on top. What I am gonna do is place that provolone cheese in here, bam. And we are going to melt this up. So while this melts, I'm going to talk to you guys about what is actually in the sauce. The sauce itself is a mixture of mayonnaise, a little sweet relish, some Rotel tomatoes, the spicy ones, a little fresh horseradish, fresh grated horseradish, and garlic powder. And then just to add a little thinness to it, I went ahead and used a little red wine vinegar as well. Touch of salt, it's fabulous. It's got that nice vinegary taste to it. It's got that nice light sweetness and that tiny bit of a kick from the horseradish. Of course, that recipe will be in our little link. And make sure that you know that if you want it spicier, you can add more horseradish. If you want it less spicy, you can bring it down for sure. Let me double check on that cheese. Getting melty, looking good. You can always expedite the melting process by cutting your cheese into smaller pieces. Oh yeah, almost there folks. So while that continues to melt, I'm gonna go ahead and start to sauce the buns. I'm just gonna put a little bit on each one. Of course, you can add as much as you'd like. I don't want to overpower anything. I like a nice balance, so I'm not going to use too much. Maybe about a tablespoon and a half per bun. I can hear that cheese sizzling. Doing a great job over there, cheese. Let's go, cheese. Let's go. Sauce. Oh, yeah. Loosen that up. Get that final little bit melty. Nice and cheesy. And yeah, it's a little greasy. Come on, come it's, on, come on. It's a little greasy because it's cheese. Nice. You know, not too bad though. But we are just going to go lengthwise, pour that over like a sheet of cheese. I told you it was going to be cheesy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bam. Now to top it off with my crispy factor, the little crispy fried onions. If you want more spice, another thing you can do is use crispy fried jalapenos instead or along with the onions. Just dump that right on. Oh yeah. Boom. So on top we 
go with the buns. Ooh. Oh, man down, but not out. Get a final plate for that. I mean, if you want to, you can eat off of the cutting board, but you don't have to. But that's why, I, that's why it's called ooey gooey. Let's see. Loaded, ooey, gooey, cheesy steak sliders for the family, family night. If you're a fan of cheese, you're gonna be a fan of these. Trust. Oh man. Ooh, I don't wanna share. Family who? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Family you. Family you. It's also very warm. Be careful when hot things touch your hands. It's hot. It's hot there. And if you want a little bit more sauce, of course we can drop that bowl right in the middle. If y'all wanna dip it, go ahead. Again, I'm not gonna judge, and all these little extra bits, as soon as the camera goes off, you know where I'm gonna be at. Let me wash my hands real quick. And y'all, check this out. These ooey gooey steak sliders. Oh my gosh. It's like a magical grilled cheese with steak and sweet buns. Let me take this out of there. Oh, even better. That's the look, y'all. Again, thank you so much for staying tuned to this amazing Family Night Sliders. Like, subscribe, share. Don't forget. Thanks for coming in. Y'all have a good one.